Welcome to today's class. How everyone is? Very good. Okay. We are live now. Okay. So first we have to complete this optical instruments. Then we'll start our wave optics, a very new chapter. Very wonderful chapter. Okay. Very famous chapter. All right, students. So optical instrument is started and here we go. Boom. So let me delete those things. Boring. So here we go and here we go and here we go and here we go. So we started this. See yesterday, what are the things we discussed? We discussed about the prism and all. Now we'll not waste our time. I've already wasted, you know, because previous class was happening. So let us go towards. Okay, optical instruments. It started students. Okay. How everyone is? Okay, Jinvi DIU students, uh, Jinvi Kolapura students, and all the students. Welcome to today's class. Uh, let me see, is there any error? Live streaming is working there. Yes, we are live there. Okay, everything is cool. Fine. Students, Jaldi Koro. Uh, we have to start the wave optics also. I will not wait for other students now. Okay. So much me agya. I will not wait for other students now. Okay, students, is it fine? We are starting now, okay? Cool. So let us start it. Optical instruments. Learning objectives. See, today, uh, first we'll go through image formation by microscopes, magnification by microscopes, image formation by astronomical telescope, then magnification by astronomical telescope. Only this much. And I want that this must be completed in like, you know, say 30 to 35 minutes. 30 to 35 minutes. This we must complete as soon as possible. Okay, fine, it's cool. See, simple microscope. Simple microscope. First of all, let us start with the simple microscope. See, first of all, write this definition in your notebooks. Microscope is an optical instrument used to increase the visual angle of objects which are too small to be seen by naked eye. Okay, write this in your notebooks. Write this definition fast. Audible Hannah clearly, but no issues are there. Yeah, welcome, Jyoti, Amungishvi, Jinvi Sangli, Kolapur, DIU, Basmat Nagar. All have joined. Excellent. Very good. Please write this definition and text me. Yeah, I have written this so I can start the next. Okay.
microscope is an optical instrument used to increase the visual angle of objects which are too small to be seen by the naked eye theek hai likh liya see this can be directly explained by the images here okay but i see i'm 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 be, i'll be fast in this was the reason because these are very easy things okay optical instruments you know if, if you know the main concepts lenses and all you can apply even by studying the theory even by reading the theory you can get this thing apply to karna lens ka converging convex wohi formula again 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 okay so what we'll be doing is this uh, 30 minutes we complete karenge and then we'll start at our fresh topic wave optics don't stick with the old things okay microscope uh, see simple hermetic this these are two types of microscopes are there simple microscope and combined microscopes simple microscopes are this microscope which you are able to see okay I, I, this picture is self explanatory you have seen detectives hai na detectives cut animations dekhe hain cartoons dekhe hain detect detectives animations dekhe hain na we have seen animations what the person does there he takes such a microscope and you know he applies it on different different objects in the houses you know sherlock holmes you have seen red sherlock holmes novels in that it's happening okay compound microscope this microscope is available in biology labs or if you go for some labs outside okay they do test on this instrument theek hai see let us talk something about simple microscope in simple microscope only remember always only and only and only a one converging lens is used only a single converging lens is used converging matlab kaise it's bi convex lens this is bi convex lens okay and when the rays okay see what happens the lens is held near the object one focal length away or less and the eye is positioned close to the lens on the other side so you are, see object will be here this is the position of the object this is what object position object position 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 okay and when the object is placed near see they have told what either one focal length either you keep this object here or either less than one focal length it means between the optical center o and focus point f just keep this object theek okay? hai and when the rays are coming from the object like this when it goes from this lens on the other side it is entering into our eyes like this okay and when i extend back this you will get what so isko jab extend karenge it gives you something like a very magnified kind of thing hai na so that is the principle actually principle of this simple compound lens it means when it it is based in the principle of magnification of the image or the object's image magnified as shown here by the convex lens clear ab isme jab tum dekhoge if you extend it back see that that diagrams were somewhat error in that okay remove this so when you will extend this rays back you will get the magnified image you will get a magnified image here students magnified image milega aapko theek hai simple so isse hame kya pata chalta hai what we what we can conclude from this focus here everyone what we can conclude from this is the conclusion kya hai conclusion kya hai what is the conclusion conclusion is this ki in a simple compound lens like this in the back picture if you see in the simple compound i mean this simple microscope there is a lens this lens is converging see this is this is a simple glassy lens this is not like kind kind of this lens this is a converging lens okay converging lens what do you do if you keep this row see you are seeing a rose this is some flower if i focus on it i'll able to see a magnified image with a magnitude difference in the object size and the image size a very good gap a fine gap okay so you'll be able to see a good magnified image that's why we are using this no so in simple microscope you see here okay you get a simple a well defined magnified image of an object simple but in compound microscopes on the other sides which are used in biology labs we are able to see uh, you know you have seen that uh, lactobacillus bacteria 
uh, some uh, you know other kind of viruses and also other things in the high high tech high like well defined new latest founded microscopes what is happening in that okay we will not talk about that but let's talk about compound microscope if you take a leaf if you want to see the cells somewhat or in we have studied in the biology labs we take some kind of you know uh, see some leaf if you see if you see that leaf under this biology lens and in this under this com- compound microscope lens we are able to see some parts well defined parts you know in that maybe in the lower classes you have seen you know what that is this is same it uses the principle of converging lens only here in the simple microscope it is using the principle of single converging lens but in that if you see okay first of all define like, okay for the compound lens if you see there back it doesn't uses the simple one single lens it will use the two lenses of different apertures diameters okay it will use two lenses of different apertures so through that somehow you will get a very magnified image because now you are observing not a rose like thing but you are observing a very small small atomic on the atomic scale on the micro micro scale okay so this is for actually it's micro but it is for somewhat micro kind of things okay and this micro is surely for the micro things micro means atomic level very small level which you are not able to see with eyes we know in the curd what is that lactobacillus kind of bacteria is there hai na so if you keep that under the microscopic compound microscope lens you will able to see that but you will not able to see this same thing you will not able to see this same thing where with a simple microscope Now what is near point? First, write like this. इसको लिखो पहले ये important है. Near point is the closest distance in front of the eye that a person is capable of focusing the light on the retina. What does it mean? इसका मतलब क्या है? इसका it means like this. Suppose you are taking this book. Suppose this book is in front of me. Okay. Try this out. You can try this experiment now. If I'm focusing, if I'm able to focus, see now I'm reading this. This is written Adunik kind of Hindi, like something publications. Now, if I bring this book near to me, or if I move my head towards this book, okay, let us bring the book towards us. If I'm bringing this book towards me, uh, near, 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 near. So there will be some deadline point, or you can say like this: there will be the shortest distance between my eye and this book. After that, if I bring this book near to me, I will not able to focus ke- like precisely on this. I mean, I either I will feel I will not able to see it properly; it will be blurred. or i will feel irritation irritation 100% you will feel if you focus less than that small le- i mean more less than that shortest distance for longer time okay got it is is it clear fine so that short so it's like closest distance of shortest approach kind of you have studied in alpha gold scattering experiment it's same like this the distance is same so if you bring this book near than that point Okay, and if you decrease more distance, you will bring more near to it. Your eyes will not be able to focus it properly. So that point is known as near point. So much me a gaya. So see, let let me show you the picture here. So this is the picture. Okay, suppose suppose the object is this is candle. It's not properly visible. This is candle. Candle. See the rays which are coming from the candle. It is going into our eyes. In our eyes, there is a lens. It's converging lens. Okay. And when the rays are focused, you see the image like this. And our brain reads somewhat different. Okay. So this point is a near point. If you are bringing this candle somewhat more near to this, no, you will not be able to focus properly. Okay. Okay. Two rays are shown. Two rays are shown to you. Here, this is a focus point. If you bring near to it. So this is a near point. If you are bringing this object near to it, or the rays which are coming, uh, which are not focused properly, you are not able to see it. So this point is defined as a near point here. Okay. If I am suppose I am keeping this candle here. If I am keeping this candle here, or the rays are coming from some somewhat more near to this. Okay, I am not able to focus. So now again, just keep your candle here. Keep your candle here. You are not not able to focus. You keep your object here. Not able to focus. But if you keep your object here, you can. focus your eyes will be able to focus the things simple this is the best definition of this is it clear so near point is the closest distance in front of the eye that a person is capable of focusing the light on the retina clear okay near point for a normal person is 25 cm right this thing making it hard to focus an object closer to your eyes than that Write both these lines in your notebook, students. It's important. 
write these things in your notebook because they are theoretical things so you have to make the notes is it clear reply in the chat box how will know that as it these things are clear to you jinvi changlang bine jyoti sangli kolapur basmat nagar all the jinvi students gondia please reply here okay dear you so see uh, now write the heading angular magnification by microscopes angular magnification by microscope see notes will be provided on the pdf also don't worry okay so it says like this ratio of the angle this is your i ratio of the angle subtended at an i by the image so image is where suppose this is the image so a ratio of the angle subtended at the i by the image formed by optical here it's given alpha okay so it's well defined here ye alpha angle ratio of the angle subtended at the i by the image formed by an optical instrument to that subtended at the i by the object when not viewed through the instrument is known as angular magnification okay first of all what do we need to do here this alpha is what remember this is the angle subtended by object let us see theek okay? hai fine this is the object size this alpha is angle subtended by object theek okay? hai this h dash If you focus here, this h dash is image size. H dash is what? It's image size, and the angle subtended to our eyes by this virtual rays or the object is h dash. Let us call it the some alpha dash, okay? Or beta. Beta is given here. Beta, yeah, it's beta here. Okay, you can see. Call it as beta. So they are saying they are saying like this ratio of the angle subtended at an eye by the image form. That is beta by alpha. This they are saying is equals to what? Angular magnification. This is given as angular magnifications. This is they are saying as angular magnification. And remember, the students, that sometimes when beta is very small, and alpha is also very small, for that case we take beta upon alpha is equals to 10 beta upon 10 alpha that is angular magnification am stands for angular magnification this is the full form clear yes or no see derivation mein jaane ka itna zarurat nahi hai it will it will be available on the pdf main thing is this write the formula so from this i'll say beta upon alpha is the angular magnification right and the formula ultimate formula this is the ultimate formula so ultimate formula will get like this that angular magnification is d by u what is this d what is this u if you focus on the slide d is the object distance okay and u is the object distance from the lens fine okay this is the angular magnification of the microscope now they are taking the different cases and let us put the formula suppose d is this is d by mu d is what here you can see here this is the i this is the object here see i'm explaining you see so you want to repeat again okay okay jnv diu students focus here again see this is the object present ab is slide mein dekho kahi aur mat dekho please be don't focus anywhere else focus here i'm explaining you theek hai jahan pe maine Where I have drawn the arrows. This is your eye. Eye means eyes. Okay. Uh, this is the object's height. Okay. This is always means object. So when the rays are going from the lens, this is converging lens. When it passes, okay. When the eye, the rays which are coming after passing through the lens into your eyes, okay. Usko 
I mean, the angle may subtended by the object to our eyes is given here as this alpha. It's called alpha canon. Suppose this is alpha. We take this triangle. Its complete distance is D. Okay. And this angle here is alpha. Okay. Fine. You can see this thing from this triangle. But when the rays is extended back and then you see it, so the angle subtended to your eyes is not alpha now, but it will be beta now. This is beta now. Okay. So we say this H dash stands for the height of the image. This H is for the height of the object. This D was the distance from our eyes. The object is placed. Okay. So when you use all these things, magnification is defined as alpha by beta by alpha. That is angle subtended by at the eye by image form and angle subtended by the object to our eye. This is image to eye of angle subtended. This is object to eye angle subtended. Okay. So you will get the magnification value ultimately as D by U. Okay. Now they are taking different. Is it okay, DIU students? Yes or no? I hope now it's clear, DIU students. Okay. Now we are taking the different cases and finding the magnifications. Okay. So magnification is defined given given as D by U F. That's fine. But when we take the case of U equals to F, that is the object is placed at the focus of the converging lens. Then you get this magnification as D by F. Just remember this. Just keep in mind. Somewhere the question comes, just put the values and get the answer. This is angular magnification. It's beta by alpha. When beta and alpha are small angles. Remember, just for small angle approximation, it is. These are small, small angle approximations. When the image is at near point, near point ka matlab hai, it's something like this. See, D here stands for the near point. Okay, see this 1 by V minus 1 by U equals to 1 by F. V, we are, we are saying V if the object is at the near point. Sorry, image is at the near point. Near point, near point matlab D distance. We are taking this D. Previously also it was near point only. Okay, consider like this minimum distance. The dead D means what? That shortest distance. After that, you will not be able to see. That shortest distance. If you decrease, shortest distance of whatever you can take image or object, whatever. Okay. Shortest distance. Hold on. This is such a shortest distance after which you can't focus. Okay. Put this value here. So you'll get magnification is equals to D by U. D is the near point, U is the particular distance. Simple. These are simple formulas. See this. This manipulation is what? That D by U, again, you keep that U, that is, uh, that will be D by M back to the formula. You'll get this. Let me show you. 1 by V minus 1 by U. U is D by M. It will be M by D. 1 by F. Okay. And again, you are giving their V is equals to D. Okay. So from this, you'll get one by D one minus F M equals to one by F. If you'll do some manipulation, you'll get D D by F plus one equals to M. Again, again, they're putting the formulas back there. Okay. Don't worry for this. Just focus on the slide. You'll get it. PDF will be available. Now let us see the magnifying power of the simple microscope. We know this thing, the magnification of the simple microscope, magnifying magnification of the simple microscope, when we took U equals to focal length was this first. When we took this as equals to, I mean, near point for the near point, when we took U, that is V was at the near point, then we got this magnification, that is the second point. So from this, we can conclude magnification is directly proportional, inversely proportional to focus. Okay, so we can say like this, magnification is inversely proportional to focus. So we can say a simple microscope has limited maximum magnification for resisting focal lengths. Okay, that is, there will be a particular value. After that, you're not able to magnify the things properly. Okay, 
So this maximum magnification is equals to less than nine. So this is a fact you must remember. Will be available on the PDF. Okay. Now let us fast move towards the compound microscope. See, simple micro. This, this you can say as lab, lab. In lab, you have seen biology labs. This is biology lab microscope. Okay. So you have seen these things. In simple microscope, only one lenses were used. Okay. But in compound microscope, two lenses are used. Students, focus here. In compound microscope, two lenses are used. So you will get. That's why you are able to see. You you are observing there are very micro. Microscopic atomic level things. Okay. Simple method ki detective uses one lens. The scientist uses two, two lenses. Okay. So here you will say like this. Again, definition will be same. Microscopy magnification definition will be same. Ki jo image, the angle which the image will subtend to our eyes, divided by angle which the object will subtend to our eyes. Uska ratio is defined as magnification. Okay. If you see here. Again, see this is the image. This is an eye. So if I see the magnification total, I'll get this one. Just remember the formula. Don't go with the things here. You can read the for derivation when the PDF will be provided to you in the links. Okay, but for now, just see this formula. Total magnification here is given as V naught balance U naught into D by U E. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you what are these distances. So this is a big lens in front of you. Okay, U E is this distance? It's V naught upon U naught d by mu e. Let us approach towards the back. Hold on. Fine. See, students, suppose you keep an object A B. I'm explaining. Have patience. Suppose you are keeping an object A B in front of this lens. Okay. Image will be going like this down. Rays will be going. I mean, rays from the object will be going like this. And after Refraction passing through this lens, it will come here and it will form image A dash B dash. So remember, if A B is the object, A dash B dash is the image of this object. Okay. Now, since it's a image and it's a real image, it's not a virtual thing. It's a real image. So rays will be going from this also. Now, several rays will be going, but for convenience, for the sake of convenience, we draw only two rays. So rays will be going from this image also now. So there is one more lens kept in front of this image. So when the rays are passing from this lens again, an image is formed, but now it's virtual image kind of. It's extended back. So you will get image. So see, for first lens this is the case. For second and which is a big lens. I mean having the big diameter aperture. Okay, big lens A dash B dash is acting as an object. And the image you are getting is a dash double b dash b double dash. Okay, so from this it's clearly well explained. Ki when you are taking a small object like this, okay, it's clearly explained when you are taking a small object a b. It's a very small object, and the ultimate result is what? Ultimate result is this a dash b dash, and that's a fact that when you take a compound microscope and you place a very small object in that. And if you are focusing on a particular part of even that small object, you are able to see a very magnified inside thing. What's going on? That is a dash, a double dash, and b double dash. It's due to the game of play of two lenses. Got it? Is this thing clear to you now? Okay. So this u mu u naught is what u naught is the distance of the object from the first lens, original object, the initial, the first. Okay, and U E is the distance of the image of that object from the first lens, or you can add as that this is the distance of the object, which is basically image from the first lens. Distance of the object or the image, this is this is from which the second lens U E. I hope now these things are clear. You can match it yourself. Tell me, students, text me in the chat box. Very good. Okay, so from this I will say like this. The total magnification at the end will be given by this formula, which is minus v naught u naught, where v naught is the distance of a dash double b dash, which is the image from the first lens, but but object of the second lens. Okay, u naught is the distance of original object, the genuine one, a b, from the first lens. 
multiplied by d d is the near point of the eye near point of the eye your eye is near point that distance u is again the same thing it is basically distance of a dash b dash from second lens so through this you'll get a complete formula in front of you here we are and remember when you getting a two magnifications you have to multiply them to get the total magnification that is the formula is and remember when you are having the two separate magnification due to two lenses if you want the net magnification net result how much they are magnified you will give by this formula that is multiply both the individual magnifications okay this is the formula in front of you students i hope it's clear so again we'll take the cases because we took we started with simple microscope cases uh, compound microscope cases now we'll see the cases for this suppose students you are taking the image at infinite image at infinite okay so we'll write like this for the image at infinite u is fe if the image is at infinite okay yes. you'll get u e is equals to fe okay this is the case So this image is at infinite. It's we are not able to meet. We are not able to see. We are when I extend back this rays, they are not meeting anywhere at the back space. Okay, they are not meeting anywhere. Okay, so we'll say image is at infinite. That is the extended image a double dash b dash. It's infinite. I don't know the size. So if the rays are not meeting, we can extend the image is at infinite, and it will not be meeting anywhere. Okay, so we are talking about basically a double dash b dash. So for this, for such case, the image formed by this first lens of this object must be at focus remember this because if you keep a object at the focus on the either side of the lens converging by convex lens you will get the image formed at infinite remember this too so this is the case u equals to fe focus of second lens so magnification you will get this see magnification which you are getting here Is equals to this. Remember this. V naught, you know, you know already. D is the near point of the eye. F is the focal length of the second converging lens. Eyepiece. Okay, it's an eyepiece. Okay. I mean, eye eye. Ke samne jo lens hota hai, it's that in front of the eye. Now, when the image is at a near point, near point matlab you have to keep the distance to be D there fixed. Okay. So we are keeping this A dash. Image at near point of the eye. Eye is here. Say here, its distance is up to here. Okay, fine. Keep the distance here. Clear. So for this, if you find the magnification, you will get the magnification formula. We get the magnification formula as this. Remember all this. Okay, this magnification formula is. A near point के लिए magnification formula yes it is this for near point you will get the ultimate magnification formula this this is the near point of the eye f is the focal length of the eye piece in front of that convex lens okay second lens and this is u naught mu naught values you know already object distance and the base distance from the first lens ठीक है you have to remember this formula see this is a, a, a typical a simple picture of overview picture of my compound microscope okay so let us see this focus it carefully you will you will feel so good see you are able to sorry you are able to see this here that we are observing an eye uh, observing an ant this is compound microscope no high power compound microscope in the biology labs if you observed an eye this is the object image is this so you can see how much magnified the image is that if you observe a very small ant see i can show you this game this is one game it's play on it's available on the play store also okay so it gives you the feel of like you are observing the things under compound microscope maybe pc software is may be available okay it's available so if you observe this thing what you will see you are able to see a magnified image what is happening is due to this see this is first lens this is first lens okay so when the rays from the object is passing through this lens like this it gives you the image so this is basically let me write it it is ab 
i will match both the things okay you must also understand this thing you must match with the previous slides this is ab object this is a dash b dash image and this image will be acting as a object this is ue distance this is basically v not and this much distance is u not okay and the image which i am getting this is equals to my eyes are i'll say suppose i'm observing i'm this will mean extended back will meet my eyes okay somewhat like this you see here i made a rough diagram this is our eyes okay this we are observing here okay so i'll get a ultimate very magnified image and this magnified image is nothing but a double dash b double dash okay and this image i'll say this is i distance so i'll say this image is formed from me at a distance which is ve but that we are not taking here very simple okay so i hope that you got it the things which we have drawn on the previous slides matches this thing that this and the original object is ab a double dash b dash is the first image of this object which will be acting as a object a kind of object for the second lens okay and when the rays passing through this when it passes through the lens when extended back will give you a magnified image of this and crystal clear students text me in the chat box is it clear now see this first o is the objective lens second is the eyepiece lens ab to clear ho gaya all the things previous yes or no students is it clear or not Sangli students, Changlang students, text everyone. Kondia students, is it clear? D I U clear? Very good, excellent. Okay. What about other students? Everyone is important. No. Vinay, Jyoti, Sangli, Kola, Kola Bur students, Basmat Nagar. Okay. So I am moving towards the next now. Let us fast complete this. See, there is one question in front of you. Uh, they are asking for me what will be the magnification at least distance. Twenty-five centimeter of a simple microscope having its focal length five centimeter. See, solution is given on this slide. I am showing you the solution. Okay, so this question is a homework. I mean, you have to practice this practice question. Although the solution will be available on the PDF, but you have to solve it yourself. Since we are not having a lot of time, I have to complete astronomical telescope. Just wait. This is a homework practice question. Although the solution is there, but still you have to solve it again. So the formula for you must remember always. Okay. So they are telling that least distinct vision means that d distance nearest point. For the magnification is this. Just put the values, you will get the answer. Okay. Now let us start with the telescope first. Okay. So students, let us start with the telescope. Are you ready? Yes or no? Ready with the telescope, students? Yes. Okay. See, this is a very beautiful picture, which is shown by the scientists, the astronomers. Okay, that uh, when you see a sky full of stars via telescopes, this is a magnified image of the stars. Somewhat, if you see in more depth, this will be the picture. If you focus with the telescope, this will be the picture. Have you seen any one of you? Jenvi Gondia students, have you seen? No one. D I U. Vinay, no. Okay. So let us understand what's the process going under the telescope in the telescope. Five. No. What does it mean? Okay. Astronomical telescope. See. What's the principle of the lenses? I mean, how the lenses have been placed in the telescope that we are able to see the image. The, I mean, the things which are very far away from our eyes. You know, pichle wala the black one was microscope. In that, the thing is near to us, but what's inside it that we are able to, we are going to see. That's the microscope principle. But when the objects like heavenly bodies are far away, the stars, the moons, the planets are far away from us. So how we can see those things with our eyes sitting on the earth or standing on the earth from the earth? So for this telescopes are present, and what's going inside the telescope? Let us see. So two lenses are shown like this. This is objective lens. This is eyepiece. This is our eye. From here we observe the images, and 
heavenly bodies see suppose some heavenly body some objects are set in the space the rays are coming like this okay when they meet on the first lens it will get converge like this the rays and it will give you first image again through this lens the rays are coming and it enters into the eyes and we get the images okay and we get the images okay so this is the principle through this through this this is the principle we are able to see the images okay so not the images just we are able to see we can write the image like images of far away bodies or objects space objects far away bodies or space objects theek okay? hai is it clear far away bodies or space objects m is known as magnification again the formula is same i think the words are changed so angle subtended at an eye by final image angle with the object subtended the lens so it was beta by alpha in the back now it is what now it is again used by the same symbols beta by alpha but the values are changed so now it is given by f not by f e okay simple see length of the tube it means see when we see uh, the telescope instrument it is having some length no so that length of the tube is been given here by f not see it's inside lens so it's the system is packed like this this is our telescope we are observing from here okay got it see this is uh, these are very big big telescopes actually these are very big telescopes but what we see you know a small pictures like this a telescope in the cartoon cartoons we see no small pictures like this and we are observing like this but this telescope is very big so this is just a picture for you to like create interest in this you know got it let us move towards the now okay reflective telescope uh, this is a very simple typical picture of the telescope you can see like this reflective matlab it will reflect the rays and which enters into your eyes it's it's coming from the space it will converge it into your eyes okay so this is an eye piece see what are you are doing students this is an eye piece anybody is having any doubt this is objective mirror this is the principle going inside the reflective telescope okay very simple it is <clears throat> sorry so now what happens is this when the rays are entering like this these are some mirrors okay write the formula write the formula it's properly given here magnification is given by f not f e and you know what is f not and f e f not is the image first image distance from the lens first and f e the image which is formed due to first lens is acting as a object which is at f e distance at the focus you can call it as from the second lens beta is the angle subtended by the image final image alpha is the angle subtended by the first image i mean the first object okay see this yeah what i was saying in this ki this the rays are entering like this so there are some reflective everything is reflection everything is going inside is due to reflection so it gets reflect this is a mirror in front of you it again reflects and it again reflects that rays okay and when the reflected rays are entering into our eyes via eye piece we are able to see a magnified image so this is due to reflecting telescope so there is nothing about magnification i mean magnified image is there that's fine but it is not it is not as such as it is in the lens converging lenses got it yes students text me in the chat box okay same thing same result which is shown by the previous telescope is shown by this but in that the principle the undergoing principle was due to what two lenses big here no lens has been used the mirrors are used and just by the mirror we are able to get a image of the far away thing but it will not be so precise and efficient as compared to the previous telescope remember this thing 
Got it? Yes. See now, this is question is also practice question for you. You have I have given you the solution here. Okay, if you found any problem, please contact. Okay, otherwise go with it. Okay, this is a practice numerical. You have to solve it as a homework. All those solutions given, but still solve it. Okay. Remember, power ka formula for the lens is given as one by f. It's the unit is diopter. Okay, and power for the mirrors is given by minus by f. Mirrors, reflecting mirrors, concave, convex. On mirrors ke liye, you will give the power as minus one by f. But for the lenses, you will keep it as one by f. Okay. So simple formula. You have to apply the values. See, but why they are given the power? Because if the power is given, see they have given the power of the objective in the eyepiece. Oh, see, they are given like this: power of O objective. मतलब object का ही. It's connected with the object. They have given the power. It means they have given nothing but indirectly they are giving you the focus. I mean the place where the object is placed from the first lens, and then they have given the power of the eyepiece, eyepiece lens. It means what? Indirectly, they are giving you F E the focus. I mean the the object, which is basically the image due to first lens, where it is kept from the second lens. It's given you. Okay, you're given F naught and F E, and ultimately they are asking you magnifying power when final image is forming at infinity. Infinity means see why we say infinity. There will be, in this case for the telescope, it will be infinite only. The final image will be infinite only. Why? Because we are seeing a very far away objects, and far away means we don't know. Where the real position is of this object is in the space, so we consider it to be like infinite only. It's like you know millions of the kilometers far away. Got it? And we know the magnification formula is this minus f naught upon f e. So simple. Put the values from this, from this. You'll get the answer. Okay. Finish. Now, students, for today's class, this was a summary. Ultimate last conclusion is this: we have we got the magnification formula of the simple microscope. M equals to d by u. What is this d? D here stands for anyone near point distance of the eye. So they will give you in the questions all the things. You just have to remember the formula. At least do this thing. Rest is the advanced level. Practice the miracles from which you will get different kind of concepts. Nearest point for eye. This U is the object distance from first lens. For simple microscope, there is first and the last lens. I mean, only one lens is there. So this is object distance from lens. For compound microscope, we use two lenses. We know this thing. One big lens. This means only one lens was there. So for this, this is the magnification formula. You know this thing. I think no need to do a lot of explanation. Let me highlight this formula in front of you. Second formula is also highlighted. All the things you already knew in this. Last is for telescope. For the telescope, this is the magnification. There they have used minus sign. Okay, try to solve it. I'll tell you then. Okay, because uh, it is by sign and conventions. Yeah, power of lenses is minus minus f. Okay, remember it's power of the lenses given by this. Sorry, mirrors are given by minus f, and power of the lenses given by one plus f. Magnification they are given in minus formula. We have done some mistake here. Let us see. No, they are right. Okay, just remove this error from the slides. Okay, when I'll give it to you, I'll remove it. Okay, I'll check it out. So power we have already studied is plus f not by f e. F not by f e. Let me highlight this. But f not was what? Objectives. Objective. The lens was. Its distance. Okay. I mean the point. F not is what? F not is the point where the object is kept from the objective lens. Okay. F e is a distance where that object, which is basically the image due to the first lens, but acting as an object for the second lens. So we can say f is the distance where the object is kept, the second object, which is basically the image from the first, is kept at. F is the distance when the that object is kept at a distance f e from the which lens eyepiece. Okay, this is for eyepiece. 
this is for objective clear now students that was all about today's class so thank you so much okay got it i hope you understood the complete lecture so for this were reference questions from ncrt okay so i'll give you i'll upload the avanti module students i'll be uploading the avanti module in your that notes url okay so check out the notes i'll upload the avanti module and then you'll get from here so all the questions okay and for reference you can take that cv also you can take hcv for reference in hcv part first you will be having the ray optics chapter there solve from there okay solve from there clear students and in the description link i'll provide you all the modules there so check it out from there description link pe some modules mil jayenge aapko okay you'll get all the modules check it from there from the description link bye everyone if you're having any doubt you can text in the chat box time is up bye everyone okay any doubts you can participate now in the chat box you can ask in the next class we'll start wave optics fresh topic very fresh very easy and very animated very fun so much of fun will be there bye everyone bye vinay bye sangli students bye call up or dio you okay bye everyone bas ma bye bye everyone okay i'm stopping this live stream bye youtube students